What is up Millennial Waterfowlers? Today I am bringing you the video on what I would like to call my little savior, the Mr. Buddy Portable Mr. Heater. Good morning. It is about 6 o'clock Friday. We've already bunched out one video and uh, decided to talk about my little heater. I've got a Mr. Buddy portable heater. It's the single cylinder. Um, I'm not endorsed by Mr. Buddy Heater at all. This isn't a sponsored video. This is just a genuine review from a, a waterfowl hunter to another or to whatever you hunt or fish or do. Um, if you're camping, whatever. Show you guys my little rig. So I've got the Mr. Buddy Heater. I'll show you guys how it works. It's got a on off switch pilot um it's got instructions on here i put some little bit of camo on mine they come black from the store um, as you can see the pilots on right now i've got a mr buddy line that you can buy separate from the store and it goes all the way over excuse my mess into my 20 gallon propane tank with the adapter now here's what i did folks a lot of these guys just push the uh, the green one gallon propane cylinder tanks and they work okay but you'll find that the portability of them has its flaw so I have a boat for waterfowl hunting obviously this year which is a first for me in 10 years that I have unlimited access to it's mine I bought it last February and so I take a 20 gallon tank out with me. Now here's the catch to the 20 gallon tank. It's heavy, okay, it's bulky. Um, and that's the only two downfalls of it. The best part about it is that it lasts forever. I never have to worry about my tank freezing. I don't have to worry about running out of propane and having to switch cans over and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. The problem that you're going to find when you need this heater is that it's cold. And if it's cold enough that you brought it out, you're going to have issues with it. And I can fix those issues with just a couple tips. If you buy the one gallon cylinders and you're just dead set on the one gallon cylinders and you don't want to do the 20 gallon conversion with the, the cord or the, the hose that adapts into the heater itself, the problem that you're going to run into is when it gets really, really cold, and aside from you not wanting to lug it out there, wherever you're going, is that your tanks freeze after about 45 minutes, depending on how cold it is, depending on if you're where you're hunting. I, I've hunted in, or I've fished in ice shacks and shanties up north, and they last about 45 minutes, and then they just freeze up. You got to take the can out, put a new can on, set it a few feet back, and let it thaw out, and turn it, and let the can unfreeze. And then vice versa, you're flipping, you're flopping, you're flipping, you're flopping. And if you have the double canister tank that holds one on each side of the propane heater, it's the same thing. you got to have four cans to really function for any length of time. Because you take one can out and it's frozen, and there's still gas in it, and you can shake it, but you know it's frozen, it's cold to touch. you got to have another one to kind of put it in there to keep her going, or you're not going to have any heat. Um... So what I decided to do this year is just to get a 20 gallon tank and I've used mine for about a week now, 20 minutes here, 15 minutes there, 10 minutes here and I mean my tank is still three quarters full. I mean it's just, I'm not saying it burns different or anything like that because I don't think it does but I'm not aware but it's just easier to use, it's easier to turn it on and you're done. I put the... Uh, um, there's like the sun visors you can get for the dash of your cars, you know, that you can get in real tree, you can get them in camo. I stick that usually behind me in my boat and I, it's got those little flaps that, you know, you can fold it up with. I just stick those in my blind. So when the heat comes out, I'm not losing all my heat in my boat and it's not just slooping straight up. It, at night and early in the morning when we're out hunting and we're, we throw our decoys out, you know, we get the sweat off of us. We're starting to get cold. I put one over the top of me and one behind me and you know they just kind of zip tie up there with the little band. Turn on my heater and it gets nice and toasty in my boat and it's perfect. Probably 60 degrees in there when it's 20 degrees outside. It just holds the heat in really good. 
So I would recommend this to anybody. Like I said, I'm not endorsed. Great heater. I'm three feet back. I don't have the fan. This one doesn't come with a fan. They have a double one where you have a tank on this side and a tank on this side, and then this is over more. And it works really, really, really good. But again, if you're not switching cans back and forth, switching cans back and forth, it really does become kind of a hassle because just when you think you're starting to kind of thaw out a little bit and your waders are steaming and you're cold, that's when the can kind of goes out and you're sitting there fumbling with a frozen can with, you know, you can't really do it with gloves on. And it's just a pain in the butt, guys. It's a pain in the butt. So get you the 20-gallon tank. If you got a boat and, you know, you're hunting a little bit better these days and you don't have to walk or lug or pull it on a sled or whatever, they really, really do help a lot. And they keep your hands warm. Um, what I like to do when I go waterfowl hunting is – I. I'm, I wear my Magellan waders that I did my review on. They're hanging up right here. You can kind of see them above my kayak that uh, I just sprayed my very rough, rough base coat on. You can still see some blue right here. I ran out, but this is just the bottom. I was just testing out colors. Uh, we're going to be doing the kayak build series. I know I've been talking about it all summer, but we're going to get to it uh, soon. So back to track or whatever. They really do work. They really are great. If you're like me and you get cold all the time and you're a pansy when it comes to being cold, these little heaters, man, for a hundred bucks, you can pick one up. I think they're $69.99, 40 bucks for a, a cylinder if you don't already have one, a 20 gallon. And I think it's like 15 bucks for the hose at Walmart. And you'll have heat all day, the whole entire day you hunt. You won't have to worry about anything. I haven't had to worry about moving my tank over by the heater a little bit just to help it stay a little warm. I haven't had to do anything like that. It doesn't freeze up. Um, I have brought my heater in the house a couple times just for, you know, the rain and if it was snowing or something, you don't want to get them really wet. Um, this is ceramic and if you touch it, it damages it. Ceramic is very fragile, especially when it's hot. But basically, I'll show you guys here. So you turn it off. It's off. You switch it over to pilot, which is the first setting it locks in. You push down. That's going to engage the pilot light and you see where it's glowing orange that is the ceramic steel tip that gets hot that's a safety mechanism that allows gas to go up the line and back to the ceramic into the ceramic pad lines then you can push down again twist it over and you will be in low setting the heat comes up you'll see a little flicker throw a little wind on it and you can see it's starting to heat up and change to orange and get on and turn on now this pushes the heat out about I can feel it about here so we're probably 12 a foot away on low now this one doesn't come with the fan obviously they have a bigger one that has a fan that helps push the heat but like I said low setting not the best about a foot away you're gonna feel the heat but a lot of the heats just coming straight up to here it's it's almost unbearable right here to hold my hand up if you turn it over to high, you can really start to feel the heat about two feet back. So if you get a little Milwaukee portable heater fan or just a, I think you can buy Ozark has them, just a little cheap fan you can stick behind it to help push the heat so it doesn't go through the top and just comes at you. Guys, they're really warm. They're great. They work. I didn't unbox this because I've had this. It's a great heater. Um, like I said, you'll see it all season with me when we go out and hunt and I'll show you guys what I do with them and your hands will always be warm. Um, I got waiter gloves this year too. That's another first for me. I've hunted years without waiter gloves or waterproof gloves and always just use the hand warmers and everything. And don't get me wrong, I still got hand warmers, still got the heated jacket. I hate being cold, but there's great technology for affordable prices for everyday people like you and me to where you can have something nice. So if you have any questions, shoot me a comment. I could probably answer it uh, when it comes to this. I have taken one of these apart and cleaned it. If it does get clogged, um, I can kind of guide you a step-by-step -step on how to unclog the lines. They are kind of fragile. So if you're hunting sand on the rivers and stuff, you kind of want to keep it let, kept up off the sand with like a rock or something because if sand gets in your lines, it's a pain in the butt to clean out. You got to get an air compressor, but they do work great. And um, got nothing great things to say about them. So if you have any questions, remember to like and subscribe to this video. Millennial Waterfowl out.